Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at an interesting kit from a company that we all know, Royal Clutch. Today we're going to take a look at the M75. It's one of RK's first gasket mounted 75% keyboard with a knob and a pixel screen. So taking a look at it, we have an actually quite solid board. Um, it has a PC plate, uh, north-facing LEDs, 3-5 pin hot swap compatibility, and it has a little screen now. It's not one of those screens like an OLED that's programmable that allows you to upload GIFs to it. It really only serves as a mode switcher. If you're in the right light, if you have too much light, it it's very hard to see. The brightness on this is tuned down so low and I found no way of being able to adjust it. Uh, it does show though uh, the battery level as well as whether you're in Mac or Windows mode and what mode you're actually in. Hefty coming in at 937 grams. It is nicely appointed. I like the design. Um, I like the knob. It's uh, and I, I get into it here in a minute, but um, the knob is a separate board uh, that attaches to the PCB using a JST connector. Uh, now, we do have the choice of red or brown switches at the normal retail price of $119.95. And for $5 more, you can get the silver speed switches. Um, I got this one right here with the reds. Be being that this keyboard has a PC plate, it doesn't resonate as hard and it's not as noticeable, but um, I will come back to it and either lube these switches up or put some pre-lube switches in there and see how much better it will sound. Um, though it doesn't affect the board as much as it would if it had a steel plate. On around back, we see that we have a USB dongle pocket, which is always welcome. We also have that a bar with uh, Allen screws in it. Uh, appears to be mostly just an accent piece. We also have two USB ports. Now taking a look, look at the stabilizers, we have some well-built stabilizers that are just lubricated enough and they attach to the plate with very good tolerances. Um, does not like, look like they're going anywhere and they sound quite nice as stock as they are. As with many keyboards that have knobs on them, turning right and turning left is going to control your volume. But usually with them, you have mute as a press. So when you press the knob, you're going to mute the sound. Unfortunately, with this one, they've used the push as a, well, press and hold will turn the keyboard on or off, depending on its current state. And uh, pressing it quickly will put you into the mode to select U USB, Bluetooth, or 2.4. So uh, they've co-opted that, and that is not able to be changed in programming. Um, the software I only took a, a quick look at, though it does allow you to set up some per-key RGB. Um, it really only allows for different profiles, um, not layers. Uh, opening this keyboard up is fairly easy. I, so as long as you use a plastic spudger, I'll slowly go around and unclip all of the uh, clips and don't try to pull the top off when all of the clips haven't been undone so that you don't snap or break any of those pieces. You should be good and be able to pull it up. So once we take the top frame off, we see that the potentiator meter has its own daughter board connected by a JST cable. And we also have a JST cable for the battery and one for the USB or the data. Now, the connector for the battery is definitely one that stands out to me. Uh, for one, it's sitting at a, an off angle, and it seems to almost be sharing the same footprint as a LED on the PCB. Digging further, we see that we have a we have a light open cell foam above a much thicker silicone padding that's obviously been made to fit, and we also see the USB daughter board with the pass through port. The construction of this keyboard is not horrible, though these little ring gaskets, I mean, they're so thin, they do allow flex, but not really bounce. We have a nice piece of silicone between the plate and the PCB, and gotta appreciate that PC plate. 
once we assemble the keyboard back together, we see that we have a decent 75% keyboard. Um, it's well built. At this price, it should definitely have the choice of lubricated switches. Then it should have the ability to reprogram the knob, as well as select what data you want to see on the screen. Also, if they should probably add some sort of brightness control to that screen if it's actually intended to be usable because at the current brightness, it's nearly impossible to see in a normally lit environment. The keycaps are of decent quality. They're double shot, but only at the top come in at 1.3 millimeters of width. And we do have some flex that can be seen. I find it hard to justify this keyboard at the price that it's listed. Right now on Amazon, it does have a $25 off coupon, but that effectively still makes this a $100 keyboard. This RK is a good shot out of the gate for 75% gasket mounted with, you know, little extra features. But I think they've got some more work to do and they have to realize the actual pricing structure that they're using right now it doesn't fit. Just the specs. Today we took a look at the Royal Kludge M75. 75% three mode keyboard with a knob and a screen. It is available with both red and brown RK badged switches that are unlubed. But for $5 more you can choose their silver switch. They include double shot, PVT perhaps, top fishing colorway keycaps that come in at a 1.3 millimeter thickness. The north facing PCB is three and five pin hot swap compatible. It comes with a polycarbonate plate, plate and PCP dampening, case silicone dampening, as well as open cell phone. The knob allows for volume up and down, but not for mute. Pressing on it becomes a mode changer. Screen displays basic connection mode, OS mode, and battery percentage. It includes a pocket for the USB dongle. It weighs 937 grams and comes with a 3750 milliamp hour battery. The chin of this keyboard sits at 23 and a half millimeters from the surface and the back sits at 32 and a half, providing for a default typing angle of six degrees. Using the first set of included feet, the back raises up to 37 and a half millimeters, changing the typing angle to eight degrees. Using the final pair of feet, the back goes up to 43 and a half millimeters from the typing surface, changing the typing angle to 11 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $119.95 with the red and brown switches and $124.94 with the silver switches. So today we took a look at the Royal Kludge M75. Um, if I'm not mistaken, their first gasket mount. Um, keyboard. Yeah, I do believe it is, or one of them, um, with a knob and with a screen. Unfortunately, no programming for the knob and or the screen, and pressing the knob takes you to a mode menu, does not do mute. Um, this keyboard retails for $119, um, and it at this price, it's just hard for me to, to think of it as a good value. If it was half the price, I'd I'd say <laughs> jump on it, but with what the market has to offer nowadays, it's hard for me to say, yeah, this is worth $120. I think it's a good, um, I, I think it's a great step that Royal Kludge has taken um, and they, they still have some improvements to make. And one of those has to be pricing. Royal Kludge has to take a look at what is out there and what is available in this price range and then reconsider this one. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the review of this video. I know that a lot of people have been asking about this one for a while, and it took me a second to get to it because of um, some logistics with shipping, but everything got...
taken care of. I got it here. I will be coming back to this keyboard at some point. I, I want to do a few mods. I feel that, I mean, it doesn't sound bad. It sounds actually pretty good for a stock keyboard, but it's just a little muted. I think that I can put a little bit of elbow grease into it and really bring out some life. I'm going to leave you guys with a sa stock sound test of um, the Royal Club M75 with the RK Reds. Um, again, they are unlubed. Uh, and they are quite pingy, so but it doesn't come through that much because of the PC plate, I'd imagine. Until the next transmission, keep calming, keep it on.